Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, we will learn about the ESP Rainmaker. I've already made an introduction video of the ESP Rainmaker and I'll attach the link of that video in the description. You guys can check out that video and you'll understand what exactly is the Rainmaker and why we should consider it while making our IoT project. In this video, we will learn how to use the Rainmaker for the very first time. So if you are a beginner with the ESP Rainmaker, this video is for you. In this video, we will be programming our ESP32 board uh, with an uh, example uh, that is already available with the ESP Rainmaker project. And then we will be controlling the ESP32 board from the ESP Rainmaker mobile application. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to this folder where you have installed the ESP IDF. So if in my case, I have installed it in local disk C and there is a folder by the name of ESP and here I have this ESP IDF. So as you can see, there is no folder as ESP Rainmaker. So we need to go to this location, CD, uh, sorry, C slash ESP or wherever your uh, ESP IDF is. Now, uh, there are two guides. Uh, one is the official documentation by the ESP Rainmaker. You can use that guide as well. And I've also written an article. Uh, I'll attach that link in the description as well. So you guys can follow any uh, anything you want. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to clone the complete repository of ESP Rainmaker. So you copy this link and paste it here. Let me just quickly copy it, git clone. Depending on the internet connection, it will take a little time uh, and it will clone the complete repository of ESP Rainmaker into that uh, ESP folder. That you can see uh, we have this ESP Rainmaker here let it get complete okay so the process is done now second thing we need to go to this folder CD and ESP Rainmaker we are inside this uh, Rainmaker folder now we need to make a uh, little adjustments first we need to run this command It will basically update the PIP. Okay, then we need to in, uh, go to this CLI folder inside this Rainmaker. So currently we are at this folder and we need to install some basic requirements. So this command is used to install those basic requirements. Sorry, this one. And it will install all those basic requirements for the project. Now we need to log in. We need to uh, create a user account on the ESP Rainmaker application. I've already made an account. You just simply, uh, you can use the Google sign in as well. Then you need to log in here as well. Copy this command and paste it here. The exact command is this. You need to remove the dash sign. I'll update in the article as well. So it will open a window where you can log in. So these are the credentials by which I'm using uh, the ESP Rainmaker. I just click on sign in and it will sign me in directly to the ESP Rainmaker. So it says you have logged into the ESP Rainmaker. The login process is done. And okay. Now we need to make sure the assisted claiming is checked. So what exactly is the assisted claiming? You can read about the claiming process here. So basically you need to uh, claim some certificates for this ESP Rainmaker to work. And uh, in ESP32 and ESP32S2, there is this assisted claiming function which you have to enable. So again, going back to the ESP Rainmaker folder and then examples and then switch. So basically I am in this uh, folder examples and there are some example sketches so I'm using this switch now let's check idf.py menu config it will open the complete configuration menu for us let's wait for it and we need to see if the assisted claiming is checked or not. Okay, 
so here in the ESP Rainmaker config ok so ES, uh, use assisted claiming this option is uh, currently checked so we don't need to make any changes here go back and now we are in the switch example so this is the main file for the switch so this is a complete program so we'll focus on the programs and other different parameters later and uh, in later videos now we just need to flash this program into our ESP code so for that again let's go back to the article what it says we need to set the target so idf dot py set target ESP32 you can follow this complete article uh, by in which I am using this motion sensor and the light so again in this video we will be using the simple sketch the switch program ok then we need to build this project by idf.py build so this will take some time to build all the necessary things so let's wait for it to get completed and then we will start with the process Tell it as building uh, our project. Let's log into the ESP Rainmaker application with the same uh, credentials that you have just used. So this is your interface for the ESP Rainmaker application. As you can see, we don't have any of the device connected here in our dashboard. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully built the complete project. Now we need to flash this project in our ESP32 board so the command that I'm using here is idf.py-p here we need to type the com port on which your ESP32 is connected in my case it is com port 3 in your case it will be different com3 and then flash so it will say connecting I need to hold this boot button and it says writing at particular address so you can see we are writing that example uh, program onto our ESP32 board which we can control via this ESP Rainmaker application. Okay, so as you can see we have successfully flashed our ESP32 device with this switch example. Now we need to open the serial monitor with this command idf.py dash p here we need to define the COM port which is COM port 3 and monitor. So this will open the serial monitor. Okay, let's wait for the device. Okay, so here we got the QR code. Now on this application, uh, mobile application, you need to click on add device. Then you need to scan this QR code. there are basically two different methods let me try that again click on that device scan this QR code and if everything works well you only need to type the password of your current Wi-Fi network to connect this ESP32 board directly to the router okay so I guess it's working now so here I need to select the Wi-Fi network uh, from which I need to connect so I need to type the password the password is this click on provision and as you can see on the serial monitor I've got the SSID here I've got the password here so it will try to connect to the SSID and password and then it will try to connect to the MQTT it's done yes it's done okay so we got our device as you can see on the application if we click on the device here is the name of the device that I can edit here is the current status it's currently off sorry on as you can see here name is switch and power is true that is currently it is turned on if I click on off so as you can see power off 
I can control this device from this application. So that's how we can use the ESP Rainmaker and we can control our devices from the ESP Rainmaker application. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys learn something new and in the next videos we'll learn about the different parameters and different things related to the ESP Rainmaker. Thank you so much and have a nice day.